In this video, I'm going to show you how to hook up your TV to your surround sound unit or your surround sound unit to your TV. There's two different ways to do it. If you have a basic setup like I do, I have a cable box, my HD cable box, and my Blu-ray is my PS3. They both hooked up through the HDMI cable here and then here straight to my TV. The blue cable right here is my Ethernet cable so I can watch Netflix movies. And then they're hooked up straight in the back over here. Input one is my cable box. Input two is my Blu-ray player. And then right here is my optical out. And it's actually labeled back here, optical out. And if you don't have that, then you most likely have this. If your TV's 2005 or newer, and an audio out, red and white RCA composite video out. This is the preferred way. It's a little bit better quality audio. And you hook it up straight to your receiver. So you'll have that red light indicating that it's working. It should be that bright. If it's dim, then it might you might have a problem. So you go ahead and plug it in the TV input right here. And by the way, it only plugs in one way. See the two notches on the sides? And then the flat top and curved bottom? So you want to plug it in. And you hear it click right there. And then you select TV input. Right there, it might be function or T input. And of course, raise the volume. So you might, on some TVs, you might actually have to turn off the speaker. You go to sound, and you do internal mute, or turn TV speakers on and off. Off indicates it's going to your surround sound unit. But um, with my Samsung TV, I can leave the CV speakers on, but sometimes you might get an echo effect, so we just lower the volume on that. Another thing is if you want to hook up the other way, where the HDMI box, cable box, and the Blu-ray player, instead of hooking straight into the TV, you got to hook straight into your receiver, but your receiver has to have these HDMI inputs. You get the BD, the Blu-ray player in, and then the set is the cable in. And then you got an HDMI cable out to your TV. So you're going to need a third HDMI cable for this one. And you can do away with the optical cable. This way is the preferred way because you get to use the HDMI control features. The PS3 has an HDMI control feature, which is this feature right here. And what, um, what happens is when you turn your PS3 on, it'll switch the input on that receiver here and switch the input on your TV and turn on your TV. And just to show you where that is, this is in the settings, system settings right here. And click on that and you scroll down where it says, make sure you have that switch on. H control for HDMI. On the Samsung TV, it's called the AnyNet feature. And I'll show you on that right here, the menu button and you go to input and it's right here the AnyNet feature which is the same as HDMI control on the Sony TVs but that's pretty much it if you have any questions go ahead and post me on the bottom and I'll try to reply as fast as I can thanks